Hi and welcome to another video. Um, this video is kind of a follow-up, I guess, or just kind of like a funny anecdote on um, on the video that I posted yesterday about my favorite tools that I always carry with me. So one of my favorite tools that I've always got with me that I've been using for a really long time, I've had loads of them because I think they're really good, are my Rab Clippers. I use them obviously to cut all my knots. I like them because they're small, sharp. Uh, never had any problems with them. They go forever. Uh, you know, like I said, I probably use only two a year. Um, so the, yeah, they're great. Anyway, uh, string the racket at the moment. Uh, I just finished actually. I've just got to tie off my um, my two knots on the my last two crosses on the knots, and then I had kind of you know some some spare string. So I kind of just snipped it off before making the knot, and you know I made a little coil, and then to kind of cut it up just out of habit because I always do it and throw it in the bin. So anyway, so I'm cutting it up, and I hear like a snap, and um, yeah, uh, this happened. Yep, they snapped. So as you can see, uh, I have no more clippers. Meep, meep, meep. Yep, they're not going to get the job done. So that has never happened before. I don't know why it happened. I was just cutting some string. It was like three pieces of string, I guess, in one snip. I've never had, I've never seen that happen, have that happen. So that is super annoying. Also, especially because I am kind of, as you can see, I am at home. Um, so uh, I don't have any spare tools. I have nothing here because uh, the reason I'm at home, I'm lucky enough to have a string machine here so I can do some stringing here. I've also been filming some of the course here because the setup, the light is much better than my office. My office, I mean, there are, there are going to be quite a few parts obviously from my office. Um, however, a lot of it's done here just because the, the noise, the sound and everything is much better here because my office is kind of in a warehouse and it just doesn't sound great. Um, so yes, so that's why I've been here. And of course, I mean, I've never had this happen, so I've never had any spare, I don't have any spare clippers. So now I have two knots to tie off uh, or to, and to cut, obviously more importantly, and I have new clippers. So I'm gonna have a little think, don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have to get a bit inventive because I don't think normal scissors are gonna cut through uh, aloe power. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna come up with, but I'm gonna have a little think and I will show you what I come up with in a second. Update time. I think I've found a solution after having a little run around the house looking for uh, suitable tools. I'm, I think I've got what I need. Yeah. Wish me luck. So I found a very sharp knife um, and that hopefully is going to do the trick. Um, this is definitely not going to be in the course. Um, I've also never had a pair of clippers snap or break ever. Um, but you know, things happen, so sometimes you've got to get creative. So I found a very sharp knife, and I'm gonna try and, uh, yes, yeah, snip these tie offs. Wish me luck without uh, damaging any of the frame. Wow, this. No. Uh... Patience, I feel, is key because the last thing I want to do is nip any of the other strings. I feel like if this was... Oh, perfect. Cut. Didn't scratch the frame, happy days. Um, now I'm gonna do the other one. Uh, turn that off. Oh, thank you very much, turn that towards me. And I'm working on the second knot, just kind of cutting through it slowly. Um, Perfect. All right. I mean, actually look pretty good to be honest. Um, yeah. So uh, got my new uh, knot cutter, a uh, very expensive Japanese knife. Um, so yeah, sometimes you got to think on your 
feet and get out of situations the best way you can. So there you go, cutting your knots with a sharp Japanese knife.